this morning, I skinned up a local place here and it was just creamy and powder in the face. And we were just so, you know, that feeling of feeling full (laughs) and like so content about what just happened and that anything else could happen in the day, but that that was so wonderful that it's no matter what else happens, it's fine. I am Evan Harris. I use she, her pronouns. I am in what is now known as Breckenridge, Colorado, which is um, land of the Ute Mountain people before it was colonized. My grandma on my dad's side, who is Mexican, she would always say that we had witches in the family. She said that it passed down through the women in our family. So me and my aunt went to dig deeper into that. She wanted to go back to the village that my great grandmother's from in Mexico. And she wants to go and find out kind of what her deal was because she said that she was, she had said she was a witch. I am mixed Hispanic of Mexican and European descent. My mom says she's Latina and I've always been confused if I am Latina, if I'm Hispanic, if I am both, I have no idea. (laughs) Like what similarities do you see in your culture that you also find in the snow world? So mine, I am of mixed race and ethnicity. Um, And so I was kind of thinking about this question and it's almost a little grim, but one of the similarities is not ever fully fitting into my ethnic group. And because like, I don't speak Spanish um, fluently. And so there's that. And then also not fully fitting into like ski and snowboard world. Um, And so even though it's not super happy, that's kind of a similarity that I see there um, because I, you know, it's like, you're trying to be part of it because it's who you are and yet you're still not fully accepted. And basically my snow story. (laughs) Um, I grew up in Denver, Colorado, and my mom skied and my dad kind of skied and then started to snowboard. And so he taught me how to snowboard and we would go as much as we could on weekends. And what was really cool in Colorado is you could get a free ski pass until fifth grade. My sister also skied um, slash snowboarded. So That was a thing that her and I could do um, with my parents, even though they were both separated, but that was still a thing that we would, we would do with them. And I just loved it. And so I still, I still do it. But I've decided to go on the full free ride world qualifiers for free riding. I am competing tomorrow at the one in Breck and then it's on six senses which is like the far lookers left. So peak six, and you have to hike it twice. You have to hike it once for the inspection run, and then you hike it again for your run. So I'm proud of that (laughs) and excited. In the competitive realm, it's just a whole other like bro bra vibe of, of things and making friends in that realm is not super easy. If, if you want to compete, then compete. (laughs) we belong in snow sports and especially in like competitive snow sports. I didn't really start skiing with friends until I moved until I dropped out of school and moved back here. Like the people who I was skiing, snowboarding with, it was just so serious. And so like, are you going to get on this rail? You know, like that sort of thing. And I was just like trying to fit into that too. And then when I also then met more women it was a lot more just like, we're going to have fun. Let's go have fun. And that's kind of where I'm trying to get back to less intense. Like I love, I love snowboarding and I want to do it as much as I can, but like not in that such intense way that it's just not fun anymore. Uh, I guess a good, a good similarity is just like good times, like being loud and that's just something that's always in my family is that we're so loud, you know, and like big food gatherings, like it's always a big thing. And I feel like that's how it is when you're riding with a big group and just like hooting and hollering through trees and 
So I feel like that's kind of a, a similarity that I love is just like fully expressing around people that you're comfortable with or family members and friends. I don't know. I am a very quirky, weird person. <laughs> I love it. And uh, most of my family is too. So I feel like it must trickle down, you know, that that's why. And I love it. I'm so glad. <laughs> oh, totally. Uh, so when you were talking, I was thinking that's like another way that we can break down barriers in the snow world as like you having so much fun on the snow and not being so serious, especially like when you're competing, others can see that and, and like feel like it's more welcoming. 